under our rigid body, I'll say public animator. And we'll make a new method. And then using our move direction variable, we'll pass in the X and Y of that into our animator. What the? Oh no! All right, here's the deal. I'm working on a few videos. They're making good progress. They're different than what I normally do. Well, I was making good progress, I should say. That is, until I started absolutely crushing it in Teamfight Tactics. I, I mean, take a look, honestly, I'm destroying this game right now. I've won seven out of my last 10 games. That, can you believe it? That's insane. For those of you that play, you, you know that's impressive. And those of you that don't, I mean, just know that I, I'm pretty cool, it's a, it's a pretty big deal. But yeah, that deterred me a little bit from my videos. But I'm gonna get back to work, don't worry. In the meantime, this seemed like a good opportunity for a nice filler video. Uh, but I shouldn't call it that. This is more just a video to talk about you guys. Because I've been getting flooded with comments, and in our Discord channel we've been getting flooded with problem solving questions, which is great. I love that. Join the Discord, subscribe, like this video. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I'd say probably 80% of the comments are all the same problems that beginner programmers just seem to have. And so now is a good time to address that. So without further ado... Let's talk about your problems. This was going in the trash, so I took it. The first problem everyone seems to have is that they copy the tutorials exactly, but it's not working. How could that happen? Syntax errors. Just like in any language, there is structure, there's grammar, there's spelling. These things matter. And it's no different than in a programming language. Except in a programming language, if you get these things wrong, well, your software breaks. We call this structure in programming languages the syntax, and each language has their own, but many of them are pretty similar. And for those of you that are completely new to programming, you need to pay attention to these few categories in regards to syntax. You gotta check your capitalization. It matters. Spelling, it matters. It needs to know. It needs to know your class names. That's lowercase vector2 and capitalize vector2 are different things. You gotta make sure that you're closing all your brackets, or using brackets at all, and make sure you end every line with a semicolon, unless you're using brackets. You gotta learn these things, it depends on the language you're writing in. These are the most common, but all of this boils down to typos and grammar. These are silly mistakes, but it's okay, you'll learn over time. And to help you with learning over time, here's how I would approach solving a syntax error that I wasn't familiar with. When you get a syntax error, your scripts won't compile, so Unity will throw an error message. And if you double click on this error message, it will actually bring you to the part of the code where the compiler is failing, and you'll be able to get a good sense, usually, of where the problem is located. From that point, you could hover over the highlighted area of the error, and it should give you some description, or it should say it in the Unity editor. What I would do is just a quick Google search on a couple of the keywords of the error. I promise you that most people have had your situation before. No matter how custom your solution is, someone has done something similar, and they've run into the same problem, and someone has usually helped them solve it. Then, the next time you come across an error that looks just like this, maybe it takes two or three times of you having to look it up, but eventually it will stick in your memory, and you'll just know offhand, oh, I have a syntax error. I should be looking for typos. Another big thing I heard a lot, the tutorials are too fast, or too slow, it's too hard to process the information. Ah, uh, yes. Now this one may seem obvious, but YouTube is actually a great place for tutorials. 
because check it out. YouTube actually has this gear, which is like settings for a video, and you can go to playback speed and change the speed of the video to be faster or slower. So if a tutorial is going too fast for you, just slow it down. I write out the code in most of my tutorials, some of them I don't, uh, and most tutorial channels do this. A lot of other YouTubers don't. They'll just flash the code on the screen for like a second. And the intention there is that you're supposed to pause it and look through it at your own discretion, right? Like at your own pace. Um, you're not supposed to get walked through it hand in hand. For the beginner tutorials, I try and do that obviously so that I can explain things in better detail, but that's how you should properly be digesting a tutorial. It doesn't matter if it's five or 40 minutes, go at the pace you need to learn. The information's all there. Number three, can I have the code? No. I mean, more seriously, if you're asking this question, here's the most likely case as to why. You clearly came to the tutorial in the first place because you don't know how to do something or you haven't figured it out yet on your own. And so you really want the solution, but you're not trying to put in the work because you're having trouble. I get that. I feel that way when I'm watching tutorials for things I'm learning. Uh, you have to put in the time. And here's why. It's not just to be annoying. You need to actually learn it. You need to go through the process, struggle, have errors, fix those errors. And by doing so, eventually when you're working on your project and you come across a problem you don't have a tutorial for, or you need to make a custom solution for, which you will, you need to be able to figure it out. And if you can't figure it out when you're being spoon fed the code for you, how are you gonna figure it out then? At least that's what I think. So no, I won't give you my code. You have to put in the effort, but I'll help you. So post your problems and we'll try and help you, especially in the Discord. It's better in the Discord. I'm sure there's a lot more problems you guys will have, but at least on my larger videos, I'd say 80% of the comments that are question-based are in those three categories. So that's addressing most of them. To all the new programmers out there, I get it. It's a little hard, it takes a while to learn. It's a, it's a steep learning curve, but it's not that bad. You just need to get into it more. I'd recommend learning your language of choice if it's C-sharp. Learn more about C-sharp on top of like doing the Unity stuff. You gotta mix it up, right? If, you're, if you just downloaded Unity and you're making a main menu, maybe you should learn more about how the Unity editor works in the first place uh, and how C-sharp works in the first place. I don't think you have to learn them exclusively, but uh, you should supplement your Unity learning with your C-sharp Unity engine learning. Right. Thank you for watching, friends. I hope this helped you. Please subscribe. I'm working on some fun videos. I hope you guys will like them. I don't know if you will, but I hope so. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Join our Discord. Post all your questions in the Discord. It's much better. And if you want to get smacked in TFT, let me know. Ugh, I don't wear glasses. Those are mine.